So it was week two of Wednesday is crafting streams. Last week was that was just totally improvised, but this week I was like, yeah, I'm 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 gonna do that again. Uh, it was a ton of fun over on stream, uh, eight central to two p.m. I'm over on work to game with the number two, um, and having a lot of fun with you guys. And I do want to stop for a second and just say a big thank you to everybody who's hit subscribe here on Gaming Kinda. Um, it's over 2020, I, I, I came in at the end of 2020 and was like, yeah, I want to start posting on my own personal channel. And uh, I started kind of throwing some things up, I think in like October and then around December, I was like, I want to make a real go of this and, and try out this content creation a little more seriously. And uh, it was like a thousand of you. And that was amazing. We picked up another thousand in 2021 and it's been like six, six days. So uh, huge thank you. And I'm going to keep trying to post twice a day so that you guys always have something that you'd like to watch in case you want to skip one or something like that. Um, so I'm going to keep trying to post ideally AM and PM in a perfect world, 9 AM and 2 PM would be perfect, but I have yet to be where I can consistently hit that. Uh, 8 AM, 8 AM, beginning of stream, end of stream. That's the perfect world. Uh, we'll see. So that's the target. And uh, today I want to talk about my initial reaction to crafting in Final Fantasy. Um, and in the process, I may mention crafting in World of Warcraft because I've been doing crafting at the same time in both. I've actually been dual streaming where you can see both games. And um, that's not, uh, it's it's just not as engaging. So I put a video out on work to game about being worried that they had nerfed crafting too much. Um, I put a video out that I was concerned that gathering got nerfed too much and that they made the experience grind too easy and um, it's too fast. Uh, it's definitely fast. Um, they got rid of cross-class skills, which was something where like, as you leveled your first crafter, you were kind of incomplete. And then as you leveled your second, one of the abilities from your first crafter was there to like help you along the way. And then, you know, the more crafters you had, the more complete your rotation was. And to truly be an in-game crafting, you'd need to have them all leveled. Um, I really thought that was a neat system to reward people that were willing to put in a level of work that I may or may not ever get to. Um, and people often thought like I was gatekeeping, like I was at the other end and I didn't want people to join me in Omni crafting. I wasn't an Omni crafter. I thought it was great in aspirational content in the same way I support ultimate and savage and extreme being in the game even if I'm never going to attempt them, like even I will never set foot in ultimate and I would still want them. And so like, I think it's important to the community to have things that the experts, the people who are really truly into something to a degree that I may not be, um, and likely am not, I, I think it's great that they have something for them. They should not be dumbed down to my level of, I just want to try it and then I'm going to try something else. Like they should have something that I don't have. Uh, and I was super nervous about it. I will say, uh, so today on my second day of crafting, my true stream brought to me level 80 armor. Uh, so I hit, I hit level cap on armor. My, uh, carpenter hit 70 and then my culinarian hit 66. Uh, everything else is, is capped, is trapped at 60. And, um, my goal is to go ahead because just armory space is like a thing. And I'm going to start healing on my co-stream tomorrow, uh, at noon central, my co-stream with Xander, we're going to run a, a 14 dungeon, then a wow dungeon. And, um, I'm this, this whole post is just going to be full of plugs. And, uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, um, uh, I, I'm going to have an armory chest problem if I start leveling my white mage while I'm still not done with my tanks. And so I want to get all my crafters up to 70. That way I can clear out everything sub 70. And then that way I'm kind of clear on some space. And then I'll start pushing them one at a time to 80. And I already kind of have a little bit of gear in that range that makes it easy. And then I'll do all the level 80 stuff. So this is my initial impressions. And I want to make it clear to any crafters out there. I have not yet geared out my level 80 crafter. Um, I have not yet touched expert um recipes and I, I think i believe there's a relic i believe there's some some stuff going on so my plan is to get them all to 80 and then dive into all that stuff but i spent my first six hours in the new crafting system um teaching uh figuring it out i would say teaching myself but like there was a ton of help from chat some people were like well just go download a macro or just go look it up and it's like no no, no. i want to figure it out so if i have questions answer them but like i want to try something and then when it fails adjust it. And then when it succeeds, say, okay, could I do it better? And then when that fails, adjust it. And so I've gotten to where I actually have like a macro that's, it, it seems good enough. And I, I'm sure it's not, I'm sure it's suboptimal, but it's mine. 
and I did it without macroing, which was great because like with condition and stuff, it was super interesting um, to like kind of do that that proc rate and all that. And I got back to like macros, which when I leveled crafting before, I just used macros. And I was like, okay, this is fine. It's basically auto synthing. But like it was my fault, right? I looked up macros and I adjusted accordingly, or I built like really basic macros where it was just like high quality, high quality, high quality, craft, 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 and then complete, you know, maybe a master's mend in the middle. And so like now I'm like, no, no, let's kind of maximize this a little bit. And then once I got to where like, okay, I'm done with that step. Let's copy that into macro. And I now have a level, mac I have a macro that gets me from 65 to 69. And at 69, there's an ability that gets added, swapped out. So it has a different opener. And then I have something that gets me from 69 all the way to 80. Um, and it's, it's good. It's really good. It, um, it, it gets my ish guardian stuff over the line, um, well over the line, doesn't get it to the second line, but I'm not I'm not tip top geared out and uh, the macro is probably not perfect. Uh, I would bet it's not perfect. And I will say that my initial impressions are, now that I'm playing this and I'm, I'm actively playing WoW again, like at the same time, I really appreciate this system. Um, I was super nervous they were just gonna nerf it, there wasn't gonna be anything at the end, but like not knowing what any of that stuff is, it's enough to know, like, I just wasn't going to touch crafting again. I was like, well, if they're just going to nerf into the ground, I'll just wait till they nerf it until I just walk to a vendor and he just hands me level 80. Like, that was my plan. Like, they're just going to eventually do catch-up mechanics with this, and they're going to keep nerfing the experience pool, and they're going to keep pruning skills, and they're going to keep saying, you know what, there's no cross-class, and you know what, there's no failure, and you know what, and they'll just nerf this thing so far into the ground it won't even matter, and then once it's like a five-minute chore, I'll go do it then. Like, that was my bitter, pessimistic view of, like, a nerf without the other half to go to it. Um, and we have the other half now. We've had the other half. I'm, I'm late to the party. And I decided, you know what, 541, last round of Ishgard. I kind of want to take part a little bit, not compete, but, you know, give it a shot um, and, and dabble in it. And, uh, and I wanted to have an 80, and I do. And I wanted to kind of have some others along the way. And we'll see. Maybe they'll all be 80. It doesn't, we, doesn't matter. It depends on timing with 541. So I, I want to kind of get into this and get it all to cap and get into expert and they've added enough stuff now that when i'm seeing the expert recipes in there and i'm seeing the different turn-ins and the kupo cards have ridiculous minions and mounts locked behind them and the little the little scripts for ish guardian drop mounts and there's enough stuff and the diadem lets me shoot rocket launchers i, I i'm not sure the diadem is super engaging in a way that like it doesn't really do much for me but it's relaxing and one of the things i've appreciated about gathering is that like it is really relaxing. I, I wouldn't mind if there was like another component to it where like, okay, you can do it as it is today and get 80% of the reward. But for the other 20%, you know, you've got to like do a rocket launcher mini game or you've got to take all the unwanted supplies because I don't get the amounts of things that I want. And, um, and you've got to turn those in to like level up your rocket launcher so that it has a higher proc rate of getting you the material you're looking for or like you insert a material into it and the rocket launcher finds that or I don't know something that like adds like a choice in there and it's not me just clearing all the nodes and collecting all the things like I'm just strip mining the diadem hoping to God that somewhere in there is the stuff I'm looking for. And then I'm using my GP to maximize when there is the stuff I'm looking for. And that's it. That's plan A. And so like, I wouldn't mind that being more of like plan B and that's like a backup system. And then there's like a better, more optimal plan A that like, if I want to focus, I can lean into that. And I, I'm a little disappointed that the diadem, I still don't feel crafted gathering I don't feel gathering has gained anything this expansion except that more people have access to something that was already just a relax take your time it'll get to cap do the leaves it's relatively fast if you don't do the leaves that's fine too you can make a good bundle of money it was already that thing and time was really the journey was really the reward there wasn't really any and the timed nodes and all that and they basically just like nerfed everything about it that made me like it just gathering I still feel like got the shaft but is this video like I'm I'm actually pretty happy with crafting um I may feel differently once I touch expert maybe expert recipes aren't that great but like they're good enough to get me to the end they're good enough to get it to where like you know what I just want to try one I mean I tried Titania EX like I I like I did Savage Tsukiyomi last expansion or the extreme I get those words mixed up um you know like I, I've I've touched it um but I don't I don't engage every time. I don't clear every tier. Like people are like, oh, well, how far are you in Eden Savage? 
zero. Like, I, I, I'm not touching any of these. Like, I'm not touching nine. I'm not touching 10. I'm not touching 11. I'm not touching 12. And like, it, it's not because it wouldn't be fun. It's that like, I get 80% of the joy that I would want from it out of watching people do it. And then I invest like none of the time. And then like, I have all these goals. Like I want to level up my tanks and I want to level up my crafters and all that. And every pull I spend in a savage that we don't get a clear, I don't get any experience towards my other tanks for that. And so like, it's just not aligned with like my goals for the game and I can enjoy it. There's so many ways to enjoy it right now. There's streamers covering it pretty much constantly. There's streamers teaching it. There's streamers doing it with their statics. So you can see like, you know, a much more organized attempt versus just failure after failure, depending on what you prefer. There's guides out on it. There's thoughts and impressions out on it. There was a world race on it. Like, like I can consume it in whatever way I want to consume it. And, and I don't need to do that. But with crafting, like, I needed to try it. I needed to touch it. I needed to like at least get one to cap. And if I liked it, I was going to keep going. And I did. So my plan is to get them all to cap. And my initial impressions are way to go square. Um, my initial impressions are it's enough that I get into it. I get in a rhythm. I get to cap at a reasonable clip. And once I'm there, there's enough there that like it's worth it's worth the journey. Even if that stuff ends up not being something that I do more than once, even if I end up just doing script turn-ins a couple of times, get a set of gear, get half a set of gear, and then I'm done, that is still worth it. That is still a side piece of content. It is still a job that is basically below my battle job. I can't clear story with it or anything like that. So like, there's this secondary set of jobs that are totally optional, hand in land, and, and I think the Disciple of Hand, the crafters, like I think it's good. Um, I think it's good content and I think that I wasn't giving the game enough credit that it could deliver. Um, it felt like at the time they put all their eggs in the story basket. There's no way they also have the ability to support this. And um, I'm delightfully wrong. Uh, they've redone Monk this expansion, mid expansion. They've um, continued to deliver great savage tiers. They've done a crossover event with near automata well, the, where the, there's, there's like an entire raid system involving them. There's an entire secondary line for the trials. That's like this whole other moving thing and pays all sorts of tribute to stuff and is amazing. The music score has been incredible. Like, like I just didn't believe that there was room for crafters to come out ahead on this one. Um, and I am very, very happy to be wrong like super happy to be wrong. So I just want to kind of put this out there as like my initial impressions. I'll probably loop back maybe if like there's something to expand on this. Once I've gotten them all to cap, um, I'll take at least one into like gearing them out and doing expert recipes. Um, the others would obviously by default then be geared out minus their tool and secondary. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I don't think it's class specific gear. I think it's still like disciple of hand gear. And so as long as it's all disciple of hand gear, like then maybe I go get a couple other of their tools, you know, primary, secondary, maybe dabble in a couple of different experts, maybe see if there's some script rewards, maybe to see if there's some ish guardian things, maybe grind to a couple more of the mounts. I don't have the monkey yet. I'd like the monkey. Um, so, you know, maybe there's some, some cool stuff in there worth, um, worth really diving into. Uh, so especially if you guys are going to continue supporting stream, uh, today you guys asked if there was a way I, I admitted to you guys that like, um, like we're talking about, I was talking about all this house renovation stuff and like, I'm the slow poke and I'm the one who doesn't get my stuff done. My, my wife gets her stuff done and I don't get my stuff done. And, um, and you guys all felt bad for her because she tolerates me. And that's, that's a valid feeling. Uh, and so, um, you guys asked if you could donate somehow to her. And so I said, well, how about I'll work down my honey do list if you guys donate to her and she can, you know, that way it kind of effectively pays for my time. Cause, cause I justify all the time that I don't do my honey do list is like, well, I should be working or I should be creating content or whatever. And it's like, no, no, like technically, like if, if I could be, you know, and, and you guys donated to her. So I'm just letting you guys know, follow us over on Twitter. I'm going to tweet out my updates. I'm going to finish the nightstand this weekend and I'm going to move the compost pile over. Um, I don't know why you guys wanted that, but uh, it was totally unexpected. And uh, we'll see if I can get that done in the amount of time. I think I can. And then there's other projects after that. There's a, there's a whiteboard on the, on the fridge and everything on it that um, like I work down, there's always something else that gets added in its place. So like, I kind of just view it as this like endless content cycle and there is no catch up mechanic. And so like, I, I get, I get, 
I get in the weeds with it and it's like, eh, but, but you know what? She could not be happier. So like you guys, you guys donated today and I'm just letting you know, message received. She's thrilled. Um, she's not yet at a point she's ready to reveal her face on camera or anything to show you, but I'm just telling you she couldn't be happier. That's, um, I think she likes Final Fantasy more because of it. I think the fact that I was streaming Final Fantasy and, and people watching that decided that, um, that she should have a husband that does a better job doing things around the house. I think she's like, that sounds, that sounds like a good game to me. So, uh, way to win her over guys. <laughs> oh, that was, that was so unexpected. So thank you. Um, that's that's really it. Tomorrow I'm gonna be doing my first collab stream with Xandri. Uh, I mean, I'm, I've done dual streams with Brian, but this is different. I'm gonna do a collab stream with Xandri. Neither of us are partners, so there's none of these fancy Twitch features that they lock behind that 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 beautiful gilded wall that they they keep people out of. So uh, you know, we're we're on the outside, so it's just gonna be me dual streaming both our feeds, and uh, we'll figure it out as we go. And um, from there. I have more projects to announce because if I'm going to take another month and go at content creation, which I was doing in December, I'm going to go at this month even harder. And I'm just going to keep leveling it up until you guys say that's enough. Like we don't need to, we don't need to watch this anymore. So thank you for all of your support, comments, views, thumbs up, subscriptions, follows, any donations or financial support of any kind, like all of that. Just know like, you're actively encouraging me. So if you don't want to do that, stop watching, stop thumbsing it up, stop commenting, stop leaving supporting messages because I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep going further until this thing stops. So we're at two videos a day, 30 hours of streaming a week, work to games posting three times a week. And I'm telling you, this is just the beginning if you guys keep supporting this. So if I have overdone it, <laughs> let me know. This is me talking about gaming, kinda. Have a good day. I'll see you all tomorrow.